Well, it is that time in the Mountain Morning Show for In Magazine. Of course, every Friday they're here telling us about their weekly issue, what's going on in and around Park City and Salt Lake. So we've got both Salt Lake and Park City. We've got Kelly Ashkettle and Ryan Painter here. Ryan, of course, you're the movie guy. And Kelly, you're going to be telling us about Pageant, which I saw last night. I'm so glad you saw that. Wasn't it hilarious? It was hilarious. I mean, you get six guys dressed up as girls. I don't think you need to say much more. <laughs> <laughs> who was your favorite? Do you have a favorite? Or who won? Well, when I saw it on opening night, um, Miss Texas won, mm -hmm. which... Which she won my night, yeah, too. Um, she was she really the big is hit. The, the most talented. But the great thing about it is that it could be a different person when, mm -hmm. whenever you, you go, because the audience is the judges, and they, uh -huh. they hold up the scores, and they choose the winner. Um, but one of the fun things about a play like this is the ones that are, the parts of it that are bad are funny. Like that's one of the pleasures of it yeah. is getting to see you know these cheesy talent shows. When you say shows, bad, you mean segments. cheesy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. The ones that if this was a real pageant, they obviously would not win for that talent. <laughs> but it's so funny to watch them. Um, they do their is, talents. They do their swim contests. They do evening gown. Am I missing something? The spokesmodel oh, yeah, part the spokes is, model. is really funny <laughs> as well. But I mean, it's just like on American Idol where the worst singers are the most popular. Yeah, Everybody wants to true. see that. It's very it's true, good point. So, and it yeah. runs through October 18th, am I right? Yeah, October 18th is the, the last and day. And it's up here at our Egyptian theater. We love it as locals. Those who come into town, I think, you know, Main Street in and of itself is a great thing for people who are rolling into town. And Egyptian theater, it's been around for years. It's a great thing to go out and support. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous old theater. Yeah. And we don't have too many of those left, so exactly. we definitely take advantage of it. And now switching completely different gears. Yeah, completely. Talk about Body Worlds. Which body Worlds, I'm yes. a little hesitant. I mean, especially when I found out real cadavers. They are real cadavers. Um, you know, and I was, I was hesitant to go. I went yesterday, and uh, I went because if I waited, I wouldn't go. Yeah. Uh, sort of thing. I would have come up with a lot of excuses, but... Uh, it's really intriguing um, because they're they're kind of set up uh, in action. Um, that helped me because they almost seem a little bit alive, and so it doesn't feel like you're looking at something that's completely dead. Explain it to people who don't know anything at all about what Body uh, Worlds is. Uh, Body Worlds is is basically uh, on display. You have a lot of cadavers. Um, basically, it's 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 to show off the muscles and the way the organs mm -hmm. work together. And, and so they have them in various action poses, so you can see what the muscles would be doing in, in various, uh, you know, various activities. Uh, there's a skier, mm -hmm. there's a, a trapeze artist sort of thing. Um, and there's also, a, you know, displays on, on the, the different organs themselves. There's a big part that's about the heart, big focus on the heart. Uh, um, but then there's some lungs, and, it, and it's just, it's, it's really, they, they try to say it's science mixed with art, and in a way it is because it's science, but the, the bodies are presented in such a way that uh, mm -hmm. it's a, they're done artistically, um, if that makes sense. No, it does. Um, so are they like playing tennis or anything? There is no <laughs> tennis, but yeah, that's the sort of idea. I mean, I just it's hard to picture, but it's created a lot of hype. I know it's been to many cities around the yeah. world, and we're lucky enough to get it here at the Leonardo. Exactly. Isn't that where it's at? Yeah, it's right? the Leonardo, which is the old uh, Salt City Library. Um, you know, and they're trying to... I, I, kind of reestablished Leonardo as a, as a museum that's going to have traveling exhibits and, and that sort of thing. And, uh, and it's actually really exciting. Um, so you learn something as well as being entertained. Oh, oh, Can you definitely. use the word entertain? Uh, <laughs> Amused? Um, no, I don't know if that's... Entertain my work. Um, it, it's, kind of, it's, it's, it's kind of bizarre. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say that it's not. Um, but it's also... I think that, yeah, I learned a lot because there's a lot of video displays and sort of things that, that show you what happened with clogged arteries and, and, and just, just stuff that you kind of know about but don't really but know about. Really. And, and it's, it's interesting because uh, we are so interested in so many things except for what's underneath our own skin. Very true. You know, it's like, uh, as long as it works, I don't care what's going on. Mm -hmm. You know, but it, 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 so in, in that regard, it was really kind of eye-opening. And See, when you say that, I'm sure a lot of people are going to leave, especially, you know, seeing the lungs. <laughs> I know that there was, like, lungs and this and that. Yeah. And the things that you may not take care of. They do have, they you do have probably the, uh, present a different idea. Yeah, they have the, the, the lungs from the non-smoker and the lungs from the smoker, mm -hmm. and that's kind of a, 
of course, one's black and one's white, and I'll let you imagine, <laughs> imagine which, one, yeah. which one that might be. But yeah, it's it is really interesting, and that is part of the thing they want people to to live more healthy lives. Um, but just even even just kind of freak show sort of crazy interest sort of thing. It is it's really kind of it's kind of interesting that way as well. Okay, so you say go see Body Worlds. Definitely. You and I pageant all the way. What can we expect in this week's edition? It says fall movie preview. Get the fall so. movie preview, and I kind of go over I think four or somewhere between forty and fifty movies that are coming out in the next couple months. Wow. Kind of give you the this is what I hope for. This is what I fear. Mm -hmm. um, but this is what I expect. Um, and by the way, I saw Burn After Reading. Not yeah, I told a fan. You. I know you told me not all to right. see it, and I went and paid money for right. it. I did. If you want, if you want a good laugh. Uh, Ghost Town is opening this week. And it's good. It's phenomenal. Okay. Um, it's, good it to know. It's a little slow at the end, but as far as romantic comedy goes, it's big on the comedy. Um, it's, it's hilarious. And uh, I don't think you get that feeling from the trailer. The trailer looked kind of iffy to me, but yeah. going at, I left, um, and it's probably my favorite movie since Batman. Really? Yeah. It's, good to know. It's Have you seen really it, Kelly? Good. I haven't. But I'm really looking forward to it. I believe the tagline on that is, uh, he sees dead people and yes. they annoy him. Yes. <laughs> and they do. They do annoy him. It's, it's, so it's all about him seeing dead people? Uh, yeah. There's a bit of that. And it's, it's got more, more to it than just that. But it's, it's, it's hilarious. And when you say he, who's uh, the main actor? Greg actually? Kinnear. Okay. Um, is the dead person. Uh, the, uh, the main actor is the... the uh, it's my, his name keeps my mind at the moment, but it's it's the guy who did The Office in England. Uh, oh, he was the, the the main guy in that. Okay. Um, for some reason, I can't think of his name. I don't even know his name. But, but anyway, I know it, it, but it's it's hilarious. Um, and Tia Leone is in it as well, and she is used extremely well. It's everyone in the film is great. So um, Ghost Town, you recommend? Ghost Town, I highly recommend. If you're more into a, a drama thriller sort of thing, go see. Uh, Lakeview, T Lakeview Terrace, which opens this week. Mm -hmm. um, saw that a few weeks ago, loved it. Um, Samuel L. Jackson's completely different than you've ever seen him before in this movie, um, which is great. Um, so th those two movies should balance everyone out. We've got some good out. ones coming out. Yeah, yeah. I feel like there was like some great ones right around the time Batman came out, and then there was a little well, bit of a lull. And what happens is, is up. the August and September comes, and the movie industry kind of shifts away from its hits. They kind of put out the stuff mm -hmm. that they're not too sure about, um, the stuff that they, they put a lot of money into maybe, mm -hmm. but didn't turn out the way they expected. Right. And they want to try to get something back, so they'll put all that stuff out around the same time. Now we're hitting the, uh, the fall. Where uh, you know they're not the studios don't feel like they're competing with family vacations mm -hmm. and that sort of thing, and so true. they really want to drag people into the theaters. Well, I will definitely go check out those two films, like you're saying. I will listen to you from now on and not see the movies you say don't see because <laughs> you were completely right about burn after reading. You know, and I wanted that one to be so good. I did too. I, I, and there's it, so it, many great actors. It should have been great, and it just missed. I know. And you said I it was actually you. worse because of the disappointment, right? My, the expectations. My, yeah, I yeah. think so too. So good. Yeah. Coen Brothers, you expect a great film, and, and, and they didn't left, pull it off. You know, and I, I that was hard to review because really it's it's a mediocre film, but it mm -hmm. felt like a horrible film. Yeah, it, I agree with you. You guys, thanks for coming in. Always, I mean, in magazines around everywhere, they can pick a copy up. Salt Lake area, right? Yep. That's park right. City anywhere, or is it just mostly Salt Lake where we, they um, can grab a we copy? We do have some Park City locations from the, what I understand, but yeah. if you go on our website, uh, inthisweek.com, you can look up all the places you can find Not us. That's easy enough. Everyone's on the web, so thanks for coming in, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. We'll make sure whether it's Body Worlds, Pageant, or Scene Movie this weekend, there's plenty going on, so enjoy. Stick around. We're going to be wrapping things up just after this.